Okay, here you are. Ready to film a review? I'm so ready. Yeah, let's go. So just to be sure, you you did see Ant-Man, right? Yeah, I saw it last week. Did you see it? Yeah, it was pretty good. What? What the heck? What? <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything, man. Why you stop filming? Let's just get with the review. Maybe that'll solve it. Ah, was that, was that Ant-Man? <laughs> This is what happens when you don't bring all the stuff you need to use your tripod and you don't have your good camera so you use the crappy one, which might be good, I don't actually remember. We, we don't know. Yeah. But uh, you gotta make a list, you gotta, you gotta charge your camera, you gotta bring the little locky PC thingy that, you know, makes it work for the tripod, Yeah. and just uh, don't be a diphthong. Hail Satan. Welcome to Real Talk. I'm Joey. And I'm David. Yeah, new guy, David Eckert. Yep. And today, we're reviewing Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Imagine a soldier the size of an insect. The ultimate secret weapon. My days of breaking into places and stealing stuff are over. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some stuff. Makes sense. These are your greatest allies. You're kind of cute. Whoa. I'm Ant-Man. I know. It wasn't my idea. I thought it was a really good movie. Especially, I saw it at the drive-in. And at first, I couldn't hear anything. But then I realized I had my iPod, so I was able to hear the whole movie in glorious, just my own ears. Sounds great. So I thought, you know, the acting was great. I really liked Paul Rudd. I thought he had a good amount of jokes, and Michael Pena's character made me laugh so hard. Yes. Uh, I don't know why in my head, but I loved this movie. I think it's because it doesn't feel like a Marvel movie, really. Mm. Like it's more like a, it's a heist movie, and this guy can shrink for some reason. And then all of a sudden, like, they'll just make references to Avengers and stuff, and all of a sudden you're just like, oh yeah, this is Marvel. Yeah. That that seems about right. Plus, and Paul Rudd. Yeah. All hail Paul Rudd. All hail. Yeah. Butterfly! God. I have a fear of butterflies. Not really. Please don't go around telling that. Action's fun. Yeah. This, uh, a lot of special effects. Yeah. They were done really well, in my opinion. Yeah. Especially the ants. Yeah. The ants look really cool and it's kind of weird that the movie makes you feel for an ant too yeah michael douglas michael douglas i thought he was a plus yes he's plus uh i don't know her actress name but whoever played hope yeah I don't, right. I don't know her yeah she was good though there's a lot of tension between her and, and paul rudd well i mean her character is supposed to be angry and there's a scene that shows it really well that i don't want to talk about it but I, I thought it worked really well. I know what you mean. Yeah. I saw the movie. I know. Yeah, we both saw the movie. Nobody else did. That's why it's taking a week to make a review. And anybody else who did is saying they're wor they're working forever. Yeah. Jobs. Who has jobs? Who has responsibility? <laughs> it's, it's... Who needs money? Who needs a life? I can sit at home. I can go to a park and make a video. Yeah, I can sit I here. I can entertain myself. I can sit here and forget all the pieces needed to make a review and expect to have a com park that's completely free and then the place you want to film has a guy reading a random book. Is he leaving? He's probably leaving now. He probably heard me. He's probably right behind us. Yes. The end credit scenes were both really good. Yeah, um... The fact that there were two end credit scenes. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's two for the price of one. That the Guardians of the Galaxy did that too, in a way. Yeah. They they counted the Groot dancing as a as an end credit scene. Yeah. I think it's the best they could do with the superhero they have. Yeah. Because shrinking, a lot of people saw that and went, I don't think it's going to be a good movie. Yeah. And it turned out, in both our minds. Class A material. And uh, I saw, I know a few years ago, I don't know if it's still running, on uh, Disney XD, they had the Avengers 
Age of Ultron, Age of Ultron show, and Ant Man was on there, but he could grow huge. So I want to see that. Happen. That might either be, you know, a later movie, yeah, like an Avengers movie, or you know, Civil War. Yeah, I'm hope because. I'm hoping they don't just keep it shrinking and then growing big from being small. I want to see it going from normal size to whatever the flip the height is that he is when he's huge. Yeah. I mean, they definitely referenced it later in the movie that it could possibly be a thing soon. I am going to give it a 9.75 out of 10. So 9 and 3 quarters? Yeah. Hmm. That, that's, as, that's as small as decimals that I'm willing to go. So if you go any lower, I'm just going to round it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm going to go with 9.5. 9. 9.5. Sweet! Final score. That's right, that's right. That's right. I don't know actually where it's, the camera's it's, pointing. It's, yeah, it's somewhere in, just assume it's somewhere in here. If I went off camera, then it's just, it's in the frame. Yeah, somewhere. And if we're both already out of camera... <laughs> It's like staring right down here at our crotches or something. I, I mean, that's like 70% of the package, literally. So, I mean, it's, it's, the package is here, but it's 70, there. It's, it's everywhere. It's only 10% of mine. <laughs> that's a nice breeze. Yeah, except we're probably going to both have sunburn by the end of this. Um, yeah, we're white. I don't want to cut that. Now we can talk about... Spoilers. So, Spoilers. you know, if you don't want spoils, get out of here. Air horn play! <laughs> and Chris scene, Civil War, A class, awesomeness. Yeah. I actually only saw it once and I don't fully know what was happening in it. All I know is it was Bucky. Yeah. It was Bucky and he's like, don't tell Stark. That's all I can really remember. Yeah. I didn't hear the dialogue. I got confused because I was like, whoa, Winter Soldier is captured by Captain America. What does that mean? And then they talked, and I was like, I have no idea what you're saying right now. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I, I didn't understand it. I and all they did, all I heard was Falcon taking the line from earlier going, I think I know a guy. And I was like, was this whole thing about Ant-Man? And what happened with, um... What was the first end credit scene? I kind of forget. Uh, it it uh, references that Hope Van Dyne will now become the Wasp. Right, and he shows her, and he's like, "Yeah, we made this prototype, but I realize now we're making it for you." Okay, I don't remember. Although, I, I I looked into the comics. They're also in the movie. They already did the. Could Janet still be alive? And if Janet is still alive, that actually means that in the Avengers we could have Ant Man, which is Paul Rudd. Um, the Wasp, which would still be the mom, and then Hope would become the Red Queen, which will be weird, because in the comics that means she would be a villain, because she got ma mad that her mom died and stuff, and mm -hmm. Hank was supposed to be a horrible dad, and she turns into a villain, but in this she's a good guy. Yeah. So, it could be just her being the Wasp, or it could be her being Red Queen, as a good guy. Yeah. Um, if they can get her mom back. Yes. But that, I guess we'll find that out eventually. We'll find out years to come. Also, I know my friend Killian said that Civil War might be the death of our favorite Captain America. Um, and instead, at the end of Civil War, um, the Winter Soldier will take his place and wear his suit and get his shield and take the place. Nine. Yeah. I want... I want... Chris Evans. Chris Evans is good, but I know he's been wanting to leave the movies recently. Do you know why? Uh, I don't know really what his what his problem was, but I know um, even Thor wants to kind of leave, and he's he's scared that he's already set in stone as the um, getting typecast as the action film guy. Right. Um, that is. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to be in more serious films, and I guess probably Steve, but. Chris Evans wants to do that too. Yeah, I can understand being typecast, and uh, I know. Um, Not liking it. In Fresh Prince of Bel Air, uh, Carlton was. That's what happened to him. He was, for many years, he was gridlocked into these certain roles because they didn't want him, or they did, because he was Carlton, not yeah. an actor. He was the character. Which is kind of dumb. Well, everybody had the chance. Yeah, I mean, 
It's just the if way. If the guy wants to be typecasted, let him be typecasted. Yeah, let him be typecasted. Because there could be a guy who's just like, I love action movies. Put me in the action movies. Or you just be Michael Bay. I like explosions, and I'm not going to hide it. I like that Hope showed that she was angry when she put in the ant control device, and all the ants just came swarming in, and the light even, like, dims because they're covering the light and all that. Yeah. I thought that was cool. That was cool. And, um, making you care for an ant. Antony. Antony. Which... Yes. That's that's one thing I kind of had a problem with. I like Anthony, but just because he named that one, I was already like, that one's gonna die. Yeah, you can <laughs> name the one of six million ants, and that one, of course, is gonna die. And honestly, the Anthony death scene was kind of just thrown in. Yeah. It literally happens in a split second, and you're like, wow. That... And he's like, Anthony, you're gonna pay for that. Yeah, and, and then a, it's just a bullet, and then you see a wing, and. I feel like some people might not even notice what just happened in that scene. Yeah, I was like, I thought Anthony died, and then I just saw the wing, and I'm like, wait, but didn't he already die? As we... Yeah. Uh, I, I was afraid that some people would be like, wait, what just happened? And who cares? <laughs> it's an ant. Yeah. I think that's all we can say. Uh, sorry there haven't been more reviews yeah. this summer. You can blame Hollywood for that. Well, actually, you can't blame Hollywood. You gotta blame us because there have actually been tons of movies that I have seen. I just, I just haven't done reviews of them. And, you know, I don't know what Glenn's doing. I think he has a job. And Nick Mana was doing, uh, he, he had a play in Spam a lot in New York. I mean, who cares? Seriously? Who cares? Like, really? Gosh. Gosh darn it. Do your job, Nick. That isn't yeah. even a job because we're not getting paid. This is a real job. I don't actually, know Nick and Glenn, so I'm Actually, like... I do have one thing to point out. Nick Manna said he was going to make an Inside Out review. Where is it? It's not here. It's not here. You're going to go home and it's going to be on it's the It's gone. Channel. It's... It won't be. <laughs> Besides, I, I kind of think it's too late, because Inside Out's already almost out of theaters. That's true. Why would you make a review, unless it's like something you saw on DVD, that you want to make a DVD review? Well, now you got to wait till the DVD comes out. Yeah. I don't know why we would do that. Real talk, remember to charge your camera. Fuck! <laughs>